So the going theory right now online is that this buckled or failed, that these columns um, somehow buckled, maybe they got bumped by a lift or a forklift or what have you, one of these, you know, there's lifts all over the place that this got bumped or it just buckled on its own causing SN9 to tip over. Now these are solid steel tubes with directly lateral forces pushing right down and uh, they're angled out slightly. It's, it may have happened that they buckled, we will see. Now what I believe happened, I believe that the floor of high bay around this area actually gave way and sank in causing the tip over. So on the right here, this is a Google Maps image of Boca Chica and on the left is an image of a heat map of the same area. So right here is where the SpaceX launch facility is um, and you know you can tell there's a little uh, feature here and then this is the road up there. Now this is a heat map from Tangrams and I'm going to zoom out here quickly. So basically the way this heat map works is that the lighter colored areas towards white are the higher elevations and then the darker grays up until uh, black are the lower elevations. So on any um, zoomed in image, um, the dark colors are the canyons. So looking at this side by side, you can see that a good portion of the uh, SpaceX facility is actually um, built on terrain, which is um, quite low or you know, uh, below uh, the surrounding area. So it's, you know, it's this is all swampland, by the way. So it's all swampland there, um, you know, just zooming out here. So this is actually a very curious image. Now this is a picture from RGV aerial photography uh, when High Bay first began construction. And now you can see here, this is the corner where SN9 kind of tipped towards. So this is High Bay, these are the doors here, um, and this is their kind of uh, pre-construction when they're getting the site ready. And you can see that they seem to have been using some kind of leveling or filling compound to strengthen or kind of to secure the foundation of where High Bay will be built. So these, you know, these facilities are built on, on swamps and um, the structures are bound to uh, uh, tip and slide, um, similar to how houses might be constructed on peat moss. And here's High Bay being constructed some more. So assuming that these stands are extremely strong and reinforced with extra forces acting on SN9, it could very easily drive one of the legs of these stands through the ground if the ground was soft and swampy like, which we know that it is. So on this windy, blustery day, boom, it seems like the ground gave in. It was really windy. There's a lot of lateral and extra forces acting and the floor just seems to have given way in that one corner. And whether the stand was bolted in or not, maybe we'll never find out, but um, it certainly seems that the floor gave in and it just tipped right over. You know, just a couple quick repairs here. So let me know if you think SN9 will fly. I personally think it will. I mean, they're going to do a pressure test on this. And if it passes, you know, they'll light it up and, and off we go. 